Okay, I need to figure out what what height I want to attach this thing. So I need to go look at the boat and think about where this is going to go and how high or low the paddle wheel has to be to hit the water at the right spot. And I want it to be lower. I want it to be kind of on the lower side because I could like attach the back and hinge the front up to, you know, to raise it up a little. But I won't be able to lower it, so I need to make sure it's definitely lowered. All right, let's go look at the boat. Also, what size is the paddle wheel going to be? I need to know that before I know what height this can be. So the paddle wheel has to fit in here anyway. So I've got, well, just under three feet. So maybe I want to leave an inch. One noodle unit clearance. Make it 33 noodle units. All right. So that makes, what's 33 divided by two? 15, 16 and a half. So the center will be at 16 and a half. So the bottom has to be definitely in the water from 16 and a half. Okay. You know, there is a nice thing about videoing this as I'm going. Later, when I'm making the paddle wheel, I might be like, wait, what size was I going to make the paddle wheel? No, it's already on the video. So I can look back at it. Okay, here we are on the boat. And we are currently floating. That's good. So you can see what the water level is. Oh, we have to move aboard. All right. If this is my thingy, and here's the back, and here's the front, here's the side, so the, the paddle wheel... Well, we'll be in the middle, the pedal, the pedal thing, the whole thing goes across this way. So it goes that way. So this is the side. Measuring from the edge where this is going to be down to the water is 12 noodles, like a foot. Almost exactly. And I did rinse off my tape measure after touching the salt water. Okay, so what's my paddle wheel? 16 and a half to the center. Huh. So if the paddle wheel center was like right at this bottom edge, that would mean it's in the water by four and a half noodles, which is not bad. Yeah, four and a half noodles in the water. And then, you know, when, I'm, when I've got weight in the boat and it's loaded down, we'll get more, more noodle in the water, more paddle in the water. Yeah, I want at least four noodles in the water. Sheesh. So maybe, maybe on the bottoms of these, I have to cut out half a circle. Ah, that means I have to fiberglass a new lip along there and then make another piece here that can maybe bolt in. So I can put the, what are they called? Put the bearings in there and have it bolted in from the bottom. Yeah, because if it's any higher, it's not going to be in the water. Huh. You know, I'd kind of rather have the hole right in the center of these. Oh, but that puts the thing three noodle units higher because this is, this is six high. So that means it's going to be 15 to the water. That means like one and a half noodles are going to be in the water. That's that's not going to be enough. Hmm. The thing is, if it's if it's so low on the thing, I'm not going to be able to take this whole thing and stick it on a kayak very easily, for example, because it's going to have to be so high. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay. It, it's totally fine. Yeah. If I want to put this whole thing in another boat, like a double kayak thing or something, I just make this the bottom and that the top, because then it'll, yeah, duh. Okay, so this will totally work. I'll cut a half circle out of the bottom of that at four spots, mount these suckers in there with some kind of, I'm going to have to have a pretty, a pretty strong thing under there. I can bolt in, and I've got stainless bolts, so 
Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be good. Oh, I think that's gonna be beautiful. Oh my gosh! All right, this thing is already so nice as it as it is. I love I love fiberglass, like how strong and light it is. I just wish it wasn't such a pain in the butt to work with. Oh, it's horrible. Although I am partly basing this on having just done these things, which are particularly difficult to get the fiberglass all around the corners and everything. I mean, doing fiberglass on like, you know, flattish areas is, is a significantly easier. So maybe I'm just over exaggerating here. All right, doesn't matter. I think, I think that's it. I cut this semicircle. Well, can't be that hard. Well, drawing those was pretty easy. How do I cut those out without making a huge mess? Hmm. And also this line here is right like exactly where the thing would fit. So I need to cut a little bit bigger than this so I can put some fiberglass in here. Oh, beauty. That looks like it's lined up quite nicely. Yeah. This pipe obviously doesn't stay there. It's just to check. Yeah, good. Okay, I need to sand off everywhere that I'm about to fiberglass. So this lip up here, I'm going to make it continue under here and just make the circle have the lip. And I also want it to overlap across here. So this whole thing will be nice and strong. And then this will be thicker so that I can bolt, you know, a thing on top of here to hold the bearing down. And I don't want the bolt to rip this out. Yeah. So everything up here, everything around here, everything up there. And... Do I do the inside too? I guess I'll do the inside just in case. Because I might want to put fiberglass on this side and the other side. Okay, I think I have this worked out to where I can do a good job. I'm going to put the fiberglass right in here, up and over that, and it'll be up on the, the edge there and along here. And I've waxed some paper. I've also waxed this whole pole, so fiberglass hopefully won't stick to it. But I've also waxed a bunch of paper. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I should be able to get the fiberglass in there. I don't need a ton. Well, I guess let's just do it. And while I have the fiberglass out, I'll reinforce this part a little bit because this is the part that's going to have the most stress because it's right between the paddles and the paddle wheel. So this whole section here and then that one too. And I checked against my big ball bearings. I do still have some space so I can wrap more fiberglass around here. I want to make that as strong as I can make it and still fit. Okay. Got all four of those done. I guess I just need to let them harden. Come on guys, hurry up and harden. Also got an extra layer wrapped around here and here, a couple layers really. And the sun is on it now, so this one should cure pretty quick. Uh, polyester resin cures a lot faster in the sun.